Now here's plus UG, that's bus plus, that's your DC plus bus. Here's bus ground minus UG. Here's L1, here's L2, and here's L3. Now first I'll put my red lead on bus ground minus UG. And here's black lead on L1. That's a dead short right there. Here's L2 to bus ground. That's good. Diode drop of 0.477 volt. Here's L3 to bus ground. There's a diode voltage drop of 0.498. That's good, not shorted. Now let's put our black lead on plus UG. This is plus bus. Now let's go check plus bus to bus ground. That's not bad. 0 0.530. Here's plus bus to L1. Voltage drop of 0 0.530. L2. Voltage drop of 0 0.530. And here's L3. A diode voltage drop of 0 0.30. All those are the same. So we only have a short from bus ground to L1. That's going to be one of these devices right here. We have them on order. They'll get in here tomorrow. And uh, we'll be able to put this drive back together and get it up on the road going. Good morning all. Here we have a Lindsay inverter drive. Type E82EV152S4B. And uh, it has a shorted three phase bridge rectifier input. I want to pull the parameters out of it and I can't power it up with that shorted three phase bridge rectifier. So what I did was I mapped out the power supply section for the HMI panel, the human interface panel right here. There's a power supply that powers it up, and there's also another power supply that powers up the control board right here. And I've tacked wires across the relevant capacitors to power up those two separate sections. I'll put my drawings up at the end of the video, but here's the circuit that powers up the panel. Or the LECOM where we're going to that we're going to use to pull the parameters out of that drive, and here is the power supply circuit that powers up the control. Uh, here is a picture of the capacitors, and uh, I'll show you which ones that you want to tack onto with your your wires and. Uh, soldering iron. At the end of the video we'll talk about all of that. So I've got both power supplies set to 10 volts. This one down here is going to power up the panel. This one up here is going to power up the control. So the red wire we want to put plus 10 volts on. The black wire ground. And we want to do the same thing on the operator panel side. Okay, there we go. Let me flip everybody over so we can see the panel. Don't short nobody out, people. <laughs> Try not to. Alright, let's see what we got. We double check. Make sure I'm not backwards. Okay, looks good. There we go, we've come up. Let's get closer to that operator panel and you'll see what it says. That's good. Now we'll go get the LECOM adapter. 
in the laptop and we'll pull the parameters out of that control. Now here we've got the LECOM connected to the COM port, the same place where that panel plugged in. And on the smaller drives, they don't power up the LECOM. We have to put 24 volts into this connector right here. So I have a separate power supply powering up the LECOM. Let's go over to the laptop and we'll download the parameters. This is Global Drive Control Easy. And after you power this up, sometimes there's a option menu pops up that allows you to select the drive, but I always cancel out of that. And this will sometimes be X'd. Uncheck that. Go over to Drive. Click on Find. Click Search. And we found it. There we are. Now it's going to take a while, but it's going to download the parameters. Reading parameter from drive. Please wait. <laughs> Awesome. We're talking. There we go. All the parameters have been pulled from the drive into the laptop. Now, this is very strange down here. Look, no error. <laughs> but I don't have a bus. I don't have line applied to it. I don't have a DC bus. You'd think it'd spit up a, an alarm for low voltage or something. Oh, well, that's okay. Now, let's go up here. And let's find this option right here. Write all parameter sets to file. And we're going to give it a name. We'll call it job ID 5513. 5513. And we'll click on OK down here. There we go. It's saved. <laughs> Amazing. That we could pull the parameters off of that microcontroller without line voltage applied to the drive to power it up. That's <laughs> nice. Now, when I get to the house, I'll show you my drawings of the power supply sections and how you can power up your blown up Lindsay inverter drive. Not hard to do. Not hard to do at all. All right, all. Thank you for stopping by. I always appreciate it when you come over to see what to what we're working on next. Evening all. It's dark outside. You'd think we'd be in winter time again. I had to bring the basil and parsley and chives indoors so that they wouldn't freeze. Now this right here is the power supply circuit that powers up the human interface panel and the LECOM. The LECOM is used to communicate from the drive to a laptop and from a laptop to the drive. Here we have the switching transformer. The output of this secondary is rectified 
and filtered by this 100 microfarad 63 volt electrolytic capacitor. Its input goes into 8L05A. That's a surface mount 5 volt regulator. So the input is regulated down to 5 volts and that goes and powers up that human manual interface or LECOM. Now in order to power up that panel and that LECOM, I applied, I tacked wires onto this point right here and this point right here. And I put 10 volts across this electrolytic capacitor. And that was regulated down to 5 volts on this output side to power up that panel and the LECOM. Let's go to the next sheet. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Come here. Now we had to power up the microcontroller and this circuit right here creates 5 volt DC to power up the microcontroller. Again we have the secondary of this switching transformer. It's rectified and filtered by another 100 microfarad 63 volt capacitor to the input of an MC78M05CT. Its output of 5 volts goes through a forward biased diode right here into that sideboard. There's a board that's off on its side slung up in the wind whose microcontroller resides on that board. That board on the power board is labeled SMD100. And here again, in order to power up the microcontroller that's on this hybrid module, I tacked wires across this capacitor right here and applied 10 volts DC into that regulator to power up that microcontroller. Let's get this page out of the way and I'll show you where to tie your wires in. To power up the panel or the LECOM we want to apply 10 volts DC across C229. And that's this capacitor right here. You put 10 volts across this capacitor right here and you will power up that panel or the LECOM. The LECOM is used to communicate to the laptop. Global Drive Easy program. Now, to power up the microcontroller, we want to put 10 volts across this capacitor right here, C235. And that will power up the microcontroller. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> People, how you figure this stuff out? I don't know. It's Paul. It's uh, it's called uh, brute force. <laughs> Sometimes you got to plow through things to to, uh, to get to where you want to go. All right, oh, we got some rain out back. I had to bring the plants in. 
and uh, so they wouldn't freeze. Amazing. Here we are, coming up on uh, near the end of springtime, going into uh, summer in a few weeks, and we're still cold. <laughs> cold and rainy outside. All right, there. There you go. I hope uh, I hope this saves you a little bit of trouble if you ever need to go this way. If you don't need to go this way, don't go, because <laughs> it's a it's a it's just a it's a lot of trouble to get it from here to there when you don't have to. But if you got to pull parameters out of a blown up drive to put into a new drive, maybe this will this will help you. Um, this will help you get that way. Good night, folks. We'll see you when the sun comes up.